All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are looking at yet another mirror force. So we have regular mirror force, we have a dark mirror force, we have storm mirror force. So this is blazing mirror force. So it seems like maybe Konami wants to go ahead and just do mirror forces for every attribute. So, hmm, rock mirror force. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, wet mirror force and moist mirror force or something along those lines for water. I wonder what those cards would do hmm. Anyway today we're looking at blazing mirror force. So blazing mirror force is a normal trap card that reads When opponent's monster declares an attack destroy as many attack position monsters your opponent controls as possible And if you do take damage equal to half those total original attack of destroyed monsters and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to that damage that you Oh. So it is essentially Mirror Force combined with Ring of Destruction put together. And uh, it's a pretty decent card, I must say. Uh, it's good like Mirror Force because, of course, you're destroying all the attack position monsters. So that's good. So like Mirror Force. But then it's a little bit more riskier because depending on how much life points you have remaining, you cannot play this card because, of course, then you will lose because that's just how it is. So, unlike Mirror Force, where it's just like, man, I have 800 like points left. My opponent's going to declare an attack. Ah, Mirror Force. Woo! This is on the other hand. It's like, oh, my opponent has, I, oh, I have 800 life points left and my opponent's attacking me with like a 2,000 monster. Blazing Mirror Force, your monster destroy. Oh, I take half. I lose because, of, of course, there is no drawing with this card. And just like how they are rotted and changed Ring of Destruction, there's no draw with that. You take the damage, then your opponent takes the damage. So, if Blazing Mirror Force kills you first, you lose. It's not, there's no, like, oh, well, they're going to take the damage in, like, a second, so it's a draw, right? No, you lose. You lose first before they lose. So, that's one of the things that, of course, you have to worry about that. But, of course, then this deck, this, this card is a little bit more trickier than Ring of Destruction, because, of course, uh, Ring of Destruction uh, cannot game your opponent, because, of course, with this errata, uh, you can't Ring of Destruction and, you know, burn uh, your opponent for more damage than they uh, have life points left. You know, it can be equal, and if you can pull that off with Ring of Destruction, then, you know, cool beans. But if it's more, you can't do it. This, on the other hand, you can and that's the cool thing about this card. But, of course, Ring of Destruction is a little bit better because it's faster, you know? Just like when I compared Compulse to Storming Mirror Force, I am comparing Ring of Destruction to Blazing Mirror Force. And, of course, Ring of Destruction is quicker. Ring of Destruction can be activated, you know, during your opponent's turn before they declare their attack. So, you know, as soon as they summon a monster and you want to go ahead and throw the Ring of Destruction, that's great. But Blazing Mirror Force, of course, you have to wait for your opponent's battle phase. You have to wait for them to declare an attack before, you, of course, you can pull this card off. So it's a little bit slower. But in exchange, you can possibly game your opponent. So let's use that same exact example. Let's say, instead, your opponent has 800 life points left and you have whatever, like points, as long as it's not enough to game you. Your opponent summons a 2,000 attack monster, they declare an attack, blazing mirror force. And of course, your monster is destroyed, you go ahead and take the 1,000, which, as long as you have enough life points to take it, you have it, and then your opponent takes the 1,000, which, of course, they have, they can't take it, they lose. So, that's one of the major differences between Ring of Destruction and Blazing Mirror Force, is that you can actually game your opponent with Blazing Mirror Force, Despite it being damage over, unlike what you cannot do with Ring of Destruction, but Ring of Destruction is quicker. So, that's it. Mirror Force plus Ring of Destruction, Mirror Force plus Compulse. So, what's next? You know, what can possibly be next? You know, Dark Mirror Force is kind of like, oh, well, you know, well, Mirror Force gets attacked with these monsters, so I'm going to get defense with these monsters. I'm going to be the Dark Rebel. Like, okay, Dark Mirror Force. So, you know, what can you possibly do with, uh, with Earth? Because it seems like, like I said, they're going to go ahead and go light dark. Because there's a Radiant Mirror Force, too. I don't remember what that card does, but there's a Radiant Mirror Force. So there's Normal Mirror Force, Radiant Mirror Force is light, Dark Mirror Force is, of course, dark, Blazing Mirror Force is, of course, fire, and uh, Storm Mirror Force is wind. So you still got rock, or earth, and water. So what are you going to do with those? That's what I want to see. But it just seems like you're you know, referring back to trap cards, because Compulse and Rain Destruction, so... Uh, psh, I don't know, I don't know. I'd say maybe the water one will kind of be like a torrental. That's what I, I kind of think that the water one's going to be like a torrental, where when your opponent's attack with your monster declares an attack, you activate it and you destroy all monsters on the field. So it's kind of like torrental, but slower because your opponent has to declare an attack, and but it gets rid of all the monsters. Because I kind of see, I could see that. I could see that, you know, all the monsters drowning in the water. So maybe like, uh, you know, uh, Abyssal Mirror Force, and, you know, when your opponent monster declares an attack, uh, destroy all monsters on the field. I could possibly see that. And rock, 
Earth, Earth, mm, that's a tough one, that's a tough one. Hmm. Mm, maybe it has something to do with defense? I don't know, I don't know, because, you know, Earth, generally, you think rock, and rock generally has to do with defense, so I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm just speaking hypothetically. I'm not going to create no fake card called Abyssal Mirror Force or anything like that. I'm just, you know, speaking off the top of my head. But there you go. There is the card review for Blazing Mirror Force. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Of course, I will be back next Monday with another card to look at. But tell me what you guys think about Blazing Mirror Force in the comment section below. And tell me, are you going to play Blazing Mirror Force over regular Mirror Force? Because it's riskier, but, you know, in the end, it could be better depending on where the life points sit. So anyway. I will see you guys next time with another card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.